before sitting down to chat about his celebrated achievement, musical genius John Batiste makes a stop at the piano. I see color sometimes in, in um, <laughs> visions a lot of the time. I see visions. It's crazy, the stories that right. I've come across. I have to start off with the first big thing, the big news here. Um, you were recently added to the illustrious cast of the Color Purple film adaptation of the 2005 musical. That's right, that's How right. How did that come about? What was that phone call? And is this your first, is this your acting debut? Yes, I've, I've done a few of Spike Lee's films mm -hmm. and a few um, amazing things, but this is my first feature film acting debut in a supporting role as Grady in The Color Purple. Quincy Jones called me, who's, mm. he helped me with the We Are album, and he really has been a mentor for me for the last decade. And uh, he's someone who, you know, he's had his hand in so many things, including the original Color Purple. Coming around this time, he really wanted someone who could play this role, but also even incorporate some of his music nice. in, the, uh, in the soundtrack. So he gave me a call and he was just like, man, would you do this? I, I would be honored to have you. And I was like, I'd be honored to do it. He'll be joining a star-studded cast that includes Danielle Brooks and Taraji P. Henson. You know, it's it's canon for American culture, for Black America. It's, it's our canon of, of stories that each generation gets to, to experience. We see him nightly on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, but the depth and breadth of this composer and educator goes far beyond the bandstand, reflecting on his five Grammy wins. He killed it on stage, sat back down. Yes. Lenny Kravitz gets up on stage, announces album of the year, yes. We Are. It was more of a, um, a feeling of affirmation that we made all of the right decisions, because I didn't, not think we could win. It was more that I thought, you know, along this process, we did so much that was against the algorithm. It wasn't that we didn't think we could win. It was just this feeling of, wow, that's really the power of, of trusting yourself and knowing that you are enough. And even before winning those five statuettes came one great big statue called Oscar for best score in the animated movie Soul, featuring Pixar's first ever African-American lead. Whether it's the pandemic, whether it was the social unrest, the political unrest, all of the different ways that things were fraying at the edges. And the film really spoke to the, the deeper question, the things that transcend all of that. And, and I think that connected the people of all ages at a time when we really needed it. He arranged, composed, and performed songs for the song track, bringing to life a remarkable story narrated with the sounds of modern jazz. And it also is, it has a legacy of putting this incredible music of jazz and this sound, this, this celestial transcendent feeling into the world. And I love that kind of a thing because it's healing. You know, it's healing and it's educational at the same time as it's entertaining. It's also the same time he wrote Album of the Year. That was what's really cool about both We Are and Soul because they both were created at the same time. You know, I, I made the We Are album the same time as I was doing the score for Soul with Trent and Atticus. And those projects are like brother and sister to me. It's funny how they've resonated in the world and very similar ways. And music is never far from his imagination. I get inspired by moments. I get inspired by people. I get inspired by, um, I love meeting people. I love going to places. I love the creative process of experiencing life and translating that into music. I remember I had a moment with Andre Bocelli at Madison Square Garden in December. And I was a guest of, on, on his show singing with him. And I'm still getting inspired by that that moment. He was also inspired to compose a new symphony that's been four years in the making. It debuts at Carnegie Hall in May. As you said, it's it's the sound is unlike anything you've ever heard. The theme on the th symphony is uh So you imagine that with 200 musicians, folk singers, 
guitar players, marching band players, jazz players, mm -hmm. classical musicians, electronic musicians, poets, all of these people on stage creating what is my vision of what a 21st century right. orchestral symphony would be. Should be. Vanessa Freeman, PIX11 News.